Kathy Whittaker always promised herself a dog when she retired. Two and a half years ago, she and her husband Raleigh adopted Sonny, a retired racer. I had done my research on the kind of dog that I wanted. I knew I wanted a, a lower energy dog. I didn't want a puppy, um, but I also didn't want a little lap dog. I like the bigger breeds. It's not a dog who's going to keep on dropping a slimy tennis ball in your lap and uh, not always barking at the door. Uh, I haven't heard her bark for about two weeks. She rarely does. It all got started in 1996 when Debbie Ward with the Chinook Winds Greyhound Rescue Foundation wanted to go into a greyhound track. She had never seen a greyhound. Her husband, John, didn't want to go. And he said, you know, don't you know about greyhound racing? And I really didn't. I was very naive. Um, so, so when I got back, I did some reading. And, and uh, in 1995, 30,000 dogs coming off the track were destroyed. Ward says that statistic has changed since the adoption process for greyhounds started. According to Ward, there's thousands of groups like Chinook Winds that take in greyhounds. And when the dogs are finished their racing career, uh, they are taken in by one of those groups and they are cared for for the rest of their lives. A greyhound is a 10 to 12 year commitment. They don't adopt to families with children under the age of three. Greyhounds have very little fat on them and thin skin and they can get hurt very easily. And we have had a dog, dogs that they need stitches just by hitting a branch, um, playing with each other, and they, and they cut each other. Greyhounds run at speeds to 60 to 70 kilometers an hour. Wearing muzzles is essential to their safety. They have big teeth, thin skin, and they do everything at high speed. So the chances are that the muzzles will actually keep their heads from actually hurting each other. They bang each other. They're very competitive. Retired racers sleep for about 18 to 21 hours a day. Uh, she rivals my cat. <laughs> and the best part about having a greyhound is? Mostly the contacts that we've made with other greyhound owners and with people on the street who stop and say, oh my goodness, what kind of a dog is that? Tammy Karachik, Shaw TV, Edmonton.